Good morning everyone. In this video, we will going to discuss the topic about laws, policies, and program for Philippine women. The human rights approach to women's development focuses on recognizing and addressing the specific rights that certain groups, particularly women, require to overcome disadvantages and achieve equality. This approach emphasizes providing success to essential services like sexual and reproductive health care and protection against gender-based violence as well as ensuring non-discrimination in education and employment. The Conventions on Elimination of All Forms, Discriminations Against Women, is a significant international treaty often referred to as the International Bill of Rights for Women. It stands out because it specifically addresses women's rights comprehensively, including their reproductive rights, and it targets cultural and traditional norms that perpetuate gender inequality. This paragraph outlines significant policies and events related to women's rights and gender based violence over several decades as well as the key events in the advancement of women's rights and the fight against gender-based violence. The Beijing Platform for Action underscores the importance of collaboration between women and men to achieve gender equality globally. It originated from the Nairobi forward-looking strategies for the advancement of women in 1985. The BPFA addresses various concerns including those of the girl, child, indigenous women, women workers, and victims of violence in armed conflicts. In the Philippines, laws and policies for women's rights are a product of historical struggles and activism. The 1987 constitution affirmed gender equality, laying the foundation for formalizing women's rights. Republic Act 7192 also known as the Women in Development and Nation Building Act, exemplifies this commitment. This legislative framework reflects Filipino women's ongoing contribution to societal progress and their crucial role in nation building. The national government of the Philippines has prioritized gender mainstreaming to address gender issues comprehensively across all aspects of society. In more recent years, the government has published two key documents on gender mainstreaming, the Harmonized Gender and Development Guidelines in 2010, which provides sector-specific implementation of the gender perspective in planning and the Magna Carta of Women emphasizing gender mainstreaming in all government programs and policies. The paragraph highlights the ongoing effort of the Philippine government to protect women from gender-specific discrimination and violence. Despite existing laws such as the Anti-Rape Act and the Anti-Sexual Harassment Bill, there are still gaps in legislation, particularly regarding online harassment. The proposal seeks to combat the culture of violence against women and provide better protection for those who choose to advocate for their rights. One of the women that we want to be an example in this topic about laws policies and program in the Philippine Women is Senator Laila de Lima, who has been an unspoken advocate for women's rights and has actively engaged with laws, policies, and programs affecting women in the Philippines. Despite facing political persecution, she continued to fight for gender equality and the protection of women's rights. The legislation of women's rights. She has advocated for laws addressing gender-based violence, such as the Magna Carta of Women and the Anti-Rape Law. Next is the advocacy of, for women's empowerment. Senator Lima has been a vocal advocate for women's empowerment, highlighting issue, issues such as the gender-based discrimination, reproductive rights, and violence against women. Next is the support for women's program. Senator Lima has been supportive for government program and initiative aims at empowering empowering women in the Philippines. Next is the legal the legal defense against persecution. Despite facing legal persecution and imprisonment. Senator Dilima has continued to advocate for women's rights from behind bars. Overall, Senator Dilima experienced highlighting the intersection of politics, advocacy, and women's rights in the Philippines. Despite facing challenges, she remained committed for fighting the gender equality and empowering women in the country.